John Aswani here with Wildwood Guitars. In my hands, I have a James Tyler Studio Elite Japan Edition. This guitar has an alder body, maple neck quarter sawn with a pow ferro fretboard. The guitar weighs 7.83 pounds. It's a very nice, comfortable weight uh, for a double cutaway guitar. Um, and it's finished in one of my favorite colors of all time, Lake Placid Blue. First, we have a Goto 510 bridge with the bent steel saddles, the hip shot tuners locking, as well as staggered, which eliminates the use of a string tree. The staggered tuners have a higher post here, but they stagger downwards so that you can uh, tune below the break point of the nut. Um, the nut is made out of a self-lubricating tusk. The electronics, we have a, um, a pick guard, clearly, front, uh, front mounted electronics. Um, and in it is a super bucker made by James Tyler for the bridge pickup and JTS 5500 single coil uh, pickups, both in the middle and in the uh, neck position. The cool addition to this electronics setup is the preamp. Let's start with the bridge pickup. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna have a, a gain setting using my Helios, Bogner Helios 50 uh, in the gain channel. You guys can hear it's a very full sounding pickup. Play that with the preamp engaged at about 20%. So you can tell it adds a lot of girth. Let me show you how it uses preamp in the clean. Okay, so I'm using a Tone King Imperial uh, combo amp, um, but I'm gonna uh, kick in some effects because this is uh, where I lose some level and dynamic attack in the fourth position, for example. <laughs> I get some volume loss, right, and some attack loss. Uh, now that's characteristic for tremolo, but I like the quack and the overall tone of that fourth position for that part. So I'm gonna kick in the preamp and turn it, I'm gonna turn it to about 30% and check it out now. I would do the same type of thing if I was in the uh, second position. Let's try that now with getting a little bit more snap by kicking in the preamp. So there's definitely a huge difference, especially like in the studio when recording, it's, it's great to be able to have such a versatility and functionality at the guitar level. So not having to deal with EQs or dialing in the amp or changing the amp tones, you know, after each and every part. And I think it makes perfect sense why they call this a studio uh, HD uh, as the name of the model, because it's perfectly designed for um, creating and recording parts seamlessly without disrupting the creative flow. 